Hi, my name is Jade. My name is Nikki. Hi, I'm Nitin and I'm from Toronto. So I'm Vijay Ramaswamy. I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. I'm also a clinician scientist where I have a basic science lab where we work on new treatments and classification of ependymoma. What is ependymoma? Ependymoma is the third most common brain tumor of childhood, and it's a cancerous tumor that can be very difficult to treat that can occur in both children and in adults. Where does it occur? Ependymoma can occur anywhere in the brain or the spinal cord. In children, it usually occurs in the brain or the cerebellum. And in adults, it can occur everywhere, but it's, it's common to see ependymoma in the spinal cord. Who can get ependymoma? Ependymoma is a unique tumor because both children and adults can get ependymoma. We're learning more that children have a different type of ependymoma than adults, and they do share the same name. Why does ependymoma grow and what causes it? We don't know exactly why ependymoma grows, but there's a lot of groups around the world that are working on this exact question. Because if we can understand what makes ependymoma grow, then we can try to find new therapies to try to stop it from growing. What are the treatments for ependymoma? The treatment for ependymoma is surgery. So the first uh, treatment that all children and adults receive is surgical resection. And many children also require radiotherapy and some require chemotherapy as well. Are you working on finding new treatments? Currently, I am working on finding new treatments for childhood ependymoma. It's a real challenge for myself and I, for many groups around the world to find treatments for ependymoma, but we are trying to find treatments that are more specific and less toxic for, for, this, for this disease that may allow us to avoid radiation and maybe avoid aggressive surgeries in, in some patients. Why did you become a doctor for brain tumors? What really draws me to patients with ependymoma is the incredible resilience that children have when they're diagnosed with ependymoma and they undergo treatment. And I feel it's really important that we find new therapies. We're able to maximize the potential of our patients to have the best possible quality of life and at the same time being able to cure them of this devastating brain tumor. What do you like best about your job? My, the favorite thing about my job are the patients. So I love working with patients with brain tumors, families of children, children with brain tumors, and it just inspires me every day to see how courageous they are, how brave they are, and how they're able to, to make the best of, of their lives in spite of the challenges that are posed by their underlying brain tumor diagnosis. What challenges do you see with ependymoma research? The biggest challenge with ependymoma research is that even though ependymoma is a common brain tumor type for me, overall ependymoma is quite rare. And so we really need to bring together patients and physicians and families from all over the world to work together to bring new therapies to the clinic and try to evaluate the best possible therapy for children. Does Toronto have good coffee? <laughs> Toronto has coffee, but I wouldn't really call it good coffee. So. There are places you can find a good cup of coffee, but I must say the best cup of coffee that I could have is the one that I make myself at home. What is your favorite kind of ice cream? My favorite ice cream is pistachio. Have you ever played paintball? So I, I have played, pa played paintball quite a bit and I've been bruised up and I've been, had welts from playing, but, but I, I love to go outside and, and play all types of sports, including paintball. What's your favorite sports team? So my favorite sports team is the Edmonton Oilers. So I grew up in Northern Alberta and my favorite hockey player growing up was Wayne Gretzky and my favorite hockey player right now is Connor McDavid. What's your favorite sports team? The Toronto Maple Leafs and the Toronto Raptors. And my favorite player is Pastel Siakam. What's your favorite movie or show and why? My favorite show is The Rookie because I want to be a police officer. My favorite movie is Coraline because I like the stop motion animation and the unique style. What's it like to have a brain tumor? 
Having a brain tumor is not fun because it's a little scary. It's bad and it affects everything in my life. What is something that helps you get through treatments? My animals, my family, and Camp Hooch counselors. One thing that helps me during treatment is watching videos on my iPad that helps me relax. My love of art and drawing. Drawing helps me relax. What should people know about being an ependymoma survivor? You have good days and bad days, but I always stay strong and never lose hope. We're all strong fighters.